Hello. Hi. Hi, what are you doing here? Well, you sent me a text to come over. No, I didn't. Um, yeah, you did. Well, come on in. Make yourself comfortable. I uh, have some cotton candy grapes. Oh, thank I'm you. I'm going to go ahead and get changed. I'll be right back. Okay. Like any good reporter, I use this time alone in Sarah's D.C. apartment to see what she's like behind the scenes. She's a bit girlier than I expected. Oh, I wonder who stays in here. Hmm, it's empty. Whoop! Didn't see that! Oh my gosh. She was watching herself on TV. Here, by herself. Oh, I love your outfit. Thanks. It's Ivanka Trump's. Oh. Oh. It's beautiful, isn't it? I just love her line. Speaking of clothing, I noticed that your clothing choices for your White House press conferences are a little on the louder side. And I just wonder, um, you know, President Trump took a real big issue with Sean Spicer's ill-fitting suits. Mm -hmm. Those are his words. Um, and I just wonder if he has said anything to you about your choices? No, not at all. I mean, if they weren't Ivanka's, he might, but come on, what's he gonna say? He wants to see his baby girl out there shining. I have a whole bunch more of her stuff. Did you wanna come see? Oh, oh, okay, sure. Great, follow me. Okay. Oh, wow. This is kind of a temporary setup here. Oh, well, you don't wanna move in entirely. I mean, you never know when someone's gonna get fired. People get fired all the time. Oh, oh, okay. We're runway walking. Well, Sarah insisted on doing a photo shoot in Ivanka's clothes, so I didn't even get a chance to ask her about the lawsuit that Ivanka Trump is currently involved in for allegedly stealing an Italian designer's shoe design. This experience is clear proof that White House officials have one face for TV and go home and take off their mask. This was easily the oddest interview I have ever done. Hi. Oh, did you meet Greta? Oh, hi Greta. Hey for dinner. Oh, take care. Okay. Oh.